This week, we're going to continue looking at MetPy's declarative plotting features, and the geoplotting specifically in MetPy 1.1 by making a map of the 2020 hurricane season. Welcome to another MetPy Monday. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer for Unidata. This week we're going to make a chart similar to this of the 2020 hurricane season. So to do this we can go to the National Hurricane Center's database and there are shape files for the best track for each storm of that season. And we went with 2020 so we have a full season to look at here. And it's going to take a little bit of manual work to go ahead and get all of these read into Python where we can plot them, but it's not too bad. So over here in our notebook, I'm going to import cartapy.crs as ccrs, import geopandas, and from metpy.plots.declarative, I'm going to import plot geometry, map panel, and the panel container objects. Now we need to have the zip file is the shape file for the best track for each storm. And the way that I chose to do this was to use a dictionary. So I create a dictionary called storms and a key of the storm name and then I copied the link and pasted it there. So now I'm going to make a dictionary that's a key value store of the path or the URL to each of these zip files. Now I've already gone through and done this and got every storm from the 2020 season. Okay, so now we've got that dictionary built. We need the tracks. And again, you could do this in several ways. We could have a dictionary within a dictionary. Uh, what I'm going to do is make a separate dictionary for the tracks and use it to uh, demonstrate a dictionary comprehension, which we've talked about in a past MetPy Monday. So the tracks, dictionary comprehension, so curly braces. The name of the storm, geopandas.read file, the URL to the zip file. For name URL in storms items. So this is going to go through or iterate through our storms dictionary. The key will be called name, the URL or the value will be called URL, and then we'll build a new dictionary with the same storm name and then we'll read that geopandas file in and have that geopandas data frame as the value in that dictionary. So we'll go ahead and run this. That's going to take uh, just a minute to run. Okay, and now we can look at tracks Arthur for a specific storm and we get the geopandas data frame back. So we can see lat lawn, these are all point geometries, uh, there are some intensities, storm types, and so on listed. We're just going to use a fraction of this data to make a simple chart of the storm locations for now. To differentiate the storms, I'm going to use different colors. And for that, I have picked from the X11 color table. You could, of course, pick any color table that you like, but I just selected around 30 color names that would be different enough we could see them on screen. And now, finally, it comes time to actually create the plot, the focus of the MetPy Monday of how can we use these new plot geometries in MetPy 1.1. So first we're going to create a lot of plot geometry objects, one for each track, and put those in a list and that will be what we set uh, to actually plot. We're going to plot many many plot geometry objects instead of just one or two like we normally do. So I'm going to create a geos list that's empty. For an iterable counter i and a track and enumerate 
our tracks dictionary. I'm going to go ahead and get the track information out using the storm name T and reassign it to T. Create a new plot geometry object called Geo. The geometry attribute for Geo, I'm going to use the geometry data series from that GeoPandas data frame. I'm going to set the fill color to be from our colors list and index it with that counter I. We'll set the stroke to be white. And then finally, we'll append on that geos list our new plot geometry object. So now we have a list of many plot geometry objects. We've created the lowest level, that plot geometry. Now we need to go up one and create a panel. Just like in past weeks, we're going to use a map panel. I'm going to set the projection to be plot Curie. Again, we could set this to anything we want. We need to use some layers and we're only going to really have the, uh, the lakes, land, ocean, and states layers for now. We'll set a title of 2020 hurricane season. And the plots, normally if we just had one, we would set a list that looked something like that. But now we have this list geos that is that list of many plot geometry objects. And lastly, we need a panel container for all of this to go in. PC. There's our panel container. We can set the size to be something like 15 by 10. Set the panels attribute to be a list of the panels. In this case, just one called panel. And finally, call the show method. And we've got a typo there. It's geos. And notice we now have a plot, but there's nothing on it. And this is one of the interesting things. This is one of the things about using the declarative functionality in MetPy currently is we have another typo right here. We had typed GOES here and GOES here. This one was an issue because we were using a python.append method on something that didn't exist. But here we're actually just setting an attribute and it's not going to error out on us. It's just not going to work. So sometimes the declarative plots can be a little bit difficult to debug. But once we fix that, it runs, we get some auto bound set, and now we have every storm of the 2020 season plotted in its own unique color. I hope that you found this useful, and I'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.